Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We are gliding like a genius thing towards Felicity Farsi's engineer's base. Odyssey 6A. Never been here in the four years I've been playing this game. My mobile phone has just told me that I've got an email. So I best turn it off. Of course, with any engineers, you have to have Elite Dangerous Horizons in order to um, get close to it. Lacon Bravo Uniform Sierra. Commencing automated flight control routine. Please observe docking protocols. Observe what protocol? I'm sorry. And... As I said, you have to have, um, you Access have to have, granted. Proceed to landing pad zero seven. which will be over here, so that, that one there is nobody else here. There's a bloody great big pole sticking out of the ground there. That's interesting. Don't recall that happening before. Not see, saw that before. Um, anyway, yeah, so all of the engineers are planetary based because they're part of the... Um, horizons um, content landing gear Look at that the laterals were working exceptionally well there um, so yes unless you have horizons you won't be able to use the engineers but this is just going to be using Felicity this will be a little sort of basic uh, engineers, oh, we're going to come in too quick there. Maybe not. Bosh. Straight in like a boss. So yeah, you in order to complete engaging ship restraints. The engineers. Your arrival has been noted. You have to have uh, elite dangerous horizons, and there are lots of different engineers um, and. You look at the engineers first on your um, status panel over here on button four, and usually this would be there. If you don't have um, <coughs> if you don't have Elite Dangerous Horizons, that won't even be there, I don't think. If you go engineers, you will see the engineers you have uh, uploaded and to what grade. So I have these three unlocked to grade three. It tells you the progress to get to the next level, so 72 progress with Li Chiang, etc. Felicity Farseer, it's telling me I've, in the log, it's told me I've, I've learnt about her, I've gained access to her, because my exploration rank is scout or higher, and I need to give her one unit of meta alloys, which is what we will do now, it's taken me this long to get them. Similar thing from Ramtar, I got information from Ramtar from Li Chiang, I need to get 50 classifier scan data banks to open him up, and for him, for example, those scanned data banks are in here, and they are there. 20. I need 30 more of those, so that's going to take me some time. Todd the Blaster McGuinn, again, he's through common knowledge, and I need 100,000 credits worth of bounty vouchers. And there are my bounty vouchers, so I will go and up, uh, um, sort him out as well um, very, very shortly. And then Liz Ryder. I know about her, but I have to put my reputation um, up with Eurybia Blue Mafia uh, in order for her to unlock. However, I never use missiles or mines, so I'm not particularly bothered. However, I am interested in multi cannons, so they all do different things, and I'm also interested in frame shift drives. So let us have a look. And as you see, when you look on the galaxy map, all of the engineers have a purple icon like that. These uh, red icons telling me where my ships here are. And then the other purple ones are obviously around. I mean, that's Ramtar. And then various different people in various different places. I think weird, word, weird is where I need to go, possibly for the blaster but it doesn't really matter they pop up there so you know where they are you don't have to put mark them you don't have to do anything anyway let us um, go and 
get and have a look at her workshop. So this, oh there we go. Right, so it's saying we're invited, here we go. We need to give her one meta alloy. We do have one, so we will donate one. She has been unlocked. Now this is what she does. She does all sorts of things. I didn't know she did all that. I only thought she did FSDs and engines, but it turns out she does a hell of a lot of stuff. And if we look at the ship, I can see that I have thrusters, shield, burst lasers, power distributor, frame shift drive, and nothing else engineered. You can tell by that little engineering icon, and if you click into it, it will tell you that it's got dirty drive tuning, so it's going to increase performance. So I've been and done some interesting things on these before. That's not to say that we can't do some more, and we will do some more. But first, let's have a look. So it's telling us here she can do engines up to level three. She, excuse me, shield boosters level one, which is cool. We've got shield boosters. Uh, sensors to level three, FSD to level five, power plants one, surface scanners three. This is great. This is she, I mean, she, essentially, she's an she's an explorer. It tells you up here. Felicity Farcia is a legendary explorer who engineered her own improvements to her ASP Explorer early in her career. Anyway, there you go. So the majority of what she's doing is for um, for explorers. So let's have a look at sensors. We have, it's telling us we have 5D sensors installed. So let's have a look what we can do. Long range scanner, what's it gonna do? Reduces the scan angle, puts our mass up, uh, which is bad, and increases our emission range. I don't really know how the scanners work, to be fair. Um, or you can just make it lighter. So it gets weaker. The integrity here, the middle one here, is telling you it gets weaker. Um, the target scan angle is also going to reduce which is not good I, I like to have a wider scan angle but it, it reduces the range and it increases the power draw so I don't really want to do that either long range scanner I guess that's good it allows you to scan further uh, or the lightweight and that is literally just brings your mass down now because the actual the sensors don't weigh that much anyway although it doesn't actually tell me how much they weigh in my ship which is quite annoying um, but I know that sensors don't weigh that much anyway so having lightweight sensors isn't particularly useful um, but I certainly don't want to increase the power draw but we can look at the power draw and have a look and the power draw is so minimal anyway it's one percent we don't really care so what we could do is say right let's let's go for the scan angle and it will reduce the distance by a little bit but the scan angle will be better um, so let's have a look at that we'll go for that one so wider angle scanner preview the outcome so it's telling us at the minute it's on 30 the emission range is uh, 5220, so that's 5 kilometers, I'm guessing, and that can go down quite a bit. The power draw is 37, 0.37, it can go up to 0.44, etc. But the angle, we can get it maybe up to 42 degrees, so let's have a go. View cost and generate, and it's saying you need to use one mechanical scrap, and we will, and then it will go. And the random number generator will ping about. And cool, let's put the power back to the lowest. What I really wanted was the emission range to come back there, but since that's mm, what it is, let's try again. We're not going to apply that one. Actually, do you know what? We will apply it. Because when we apply it, we should go up. There you go, we've unlocked 34% of um, Felicity Farcia. Now, this is across all of these um, things. 
So let's just, we'll, we can come back to sensors in a minute. So we've done our sensors. Let's now do surface scanners. This is interesting. So we've got a 1C surface scanner. I think the 1 is the only type of surface scanner you can get, so it doesn't really matter. Again, it's either long range, wide angle, fast. Now that increases the weight by some amount, but it if you can make it go a lot quicker, I like the sound of that. Uh, so let's preview the outcome and see what it says. The current mass is 1.3 ton, and it's going to put it up to 1.82. So I'm saying, yeah, I don't care. Let's have a go with that. And we'll generate what happens. Obviously, there's not going to be anything experimental coming from there. Secondary effects. Brings the mass back down a bit, which is good. So the speed of that multiplier is now up 30 whatever's so yep we'll have that I don't really know what that's doing but we'll have it anyway um, so let's go to power plant now and we've got a decent 5a power plant but we don't have any anything on it so what have we got armored puts the integrity up increases mass uh, and it, it can vary the heat efficiency that's interesting overcharged can add more power now if we look, do we need more power? And I think the answer is yes. Low emissions, heat, lower power, so we don't want that. We want overcharged. Integrity goes down, heat efficiency goes down. We don't care. We need sulfur to do it. We definitely want to hit this up something good. Get it up to about 22. This would be very good. And will certainly help with things not running out of power. And that's quite high. And they're both pretty shit. But who cares? Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's the heat. No, it's not. It's the integrity. And the mass. Oh, it goes the other way. Does it? And who knows? Anyway, we're going to apply that again. Now, what's happening? Now something happened there because our power plant did something interesting. Now we've got more power and the usage has gone down and everything should be tickety-boo there. There shouldn't be any real problems um, with what was going on there. So now we should have more power than we definitely need and we've upgraded to unlock grade 2. So we could go and have a look at grade 2 surface scanner and see what we can do. Um, now what were we doing on the surface scanner fast? Now we need flawed focus crystals, which we've got two of. Get off. And phosphorus, which we've got lots of. So the mass is again going to change, but the the multiplier could go a lot quicker, which could make scanning things a lot, lot quicker, which for me is a very, very good thing. Look at that, it's made it worse. The mass is coming back. that's terrible but even even if you don't apply it and you try again you still get your unlock for you know you've still done the engineering thingy so it's not a problem oh, look at that both rubbish give us a scan rate multiplier secondary effects none so all that's done is just going to make things worse so we're going to try again and it's going to say we can't because we don't have the focusy wadoo crystals. So that's really annoying. We could have tried to get that up to about 50-ish. And... Yes, we don't care. It's gone. And as you can see, we've now nearly unlocked a grade 3. So what other things can we do? Level 2. We, we will go and have a look at the engines, but let's just go back to these sensors. We're on wide-angle sensor. So look again. We need one mechanical strap and one germanium. Now, before we do this, I'm just going to have a check and see if we need germanium for anything else. And we've got... Yeah, I don't think that's going to help us. I don't know what level dirty drive tuning we've got on our engines at the minute. Which is... 
annoying. However, what it's saying is, at this level, the multiplier can go up by 7, and the mass can change, the power draw can go up, the thermal can change, etc, etc. Et Try the strengthening means, yeah, thermal load comes down, makes it stronger, and but the other things go crap. Clean drive tuning, you yeah, don't have any conductive components, so that's not going to work. Dirty drive tuning, special legacy framework and mechanical equipment, so we could have a go on that one. So let's have a go and let's just see what happens. We'll generate this, have a little play, see what happens. Wow top multiplier mass goes down one percent let's put that integrity back up anything else power draw worse that's that's up eight percent however the multiplier is 115 so we'll whack that on and now we're on level three access so Again, we can have a look at everything that we've got going on. Wide angle scanner, what do we need? Now we can do this, but it's using up one of those classified scan data banks that we need for this dude. So, do you know what? And one germanium, as I said before. Let's see what we can do on the surface scanners. I don't think we'll be able to do these. No, it's because we don't have any flawed focus crystals. Never mind. That's um, annoying, but it's not that bad. Uh, let's just check the FSD stuff, what is needed for increased range. We've got everything we want. So the optimized mass can change from 3 to 20%, which is what we want to do. So we'll come back and do that. Surface scans we can't do. Sensors we can. Let's try and go for this wide angle again. Preview the outcome and let's see if we can get a decent... A decent roll. Yep, power draws up. Power draw back down. Good. Anything else? No. So we're definitely doing that. So the angle is has gone up 47% to 59.2. So in theory, that should mean you shouldn't have to point so acutely at a planet when you're scanning it. I mean, that's what it should mean. Whether it actually does that or not, who bloody knows. Now we've got level 2 dirty drive tuning here. Can we add dirty drive level 3? load of things changing. We've got six goes at this. Let's have a go. Look at all these changes we could do. Let's, let's get that going. I'm just trying to work out, can we have a look at our ship? to see the speed and stuff. Do you know what? I don't think we can. We're just going to have to believe that the changes that it's going to make are going to be um, aren't going to be better. So let's just have a look. Multiplier is going to go down. Thermal load is going to get better. That's going to get better. Integrity you don't care about. Optimal mass. Yeah, not ideal. Yeah, that's not great, so we'll try again. Let's see what else we can get coming from this. It's the optimal mass we want, really. Yeah, it keeps changing that integrity. Which is just making the thruster stronger, um, so we'll apply that. And we'll do one more. Why is it saying dirty drive tuning one? Did I just put dirty drive tuning one back on? I must have done because these things haven't gone down. Jesus. Right, let's try this again. So the multiplier again, we're trying to get as close to 120 as possible without properly stitching ourselves. It's pretty good. Everything else is pretty bad. 
Anything good? Yes, that's much better. Ooh, yeah, we like that. It makes it a bit weaker, but we don't care. We will apply that. Now, in theory, that should make the thrusters a lot better for us. So, let's move on to shield boosters, and we'll do this first one. What do these do? More power, less integrity, but it does everything. Okay. Heavy does that. Extra mass. I like the idea of that. Let's give these a bit of a go. Power draw is not great. Anything good? No, worse power draw. 10% power. It's an extra one. But kinetic resistance is up, and that is. And the next one? Yeah! Okay. We'll have that. Have a little check in our modules to see what power uses. Usually is still on 92, so we've still got plenty in the power. So let's do the other shield booster. Same thing. Let's see if we can't get the same sort of thing. Power drawer is better this time, but it should spank it now. This is good. It's given us 3.8. Fine, we'll have that. So, our sensors we have at wide angle 3. Engines we have at where we want them. Power plant, I don't think we can do much more with that. that. We can have we can have an extra one percent or we could lose eight percent so we won't do that the surface scanners we can't do to anything we really want we could change it to long range but it's already on a little bit faster so that's absolutely fine now let's lastly look at the fsd the minute it's on one and uh, we should be able to look at our fsd range and say it is I just had it. 30.15 at the minute. Okay, so let's get in here. Put it on three and let's just see what we can get going. We can only do two of these. So ideally we want to get this optimized mass as high as possible. Power draw comes back down, which is great. Mass goes up, which is bad. And the boot time it's saying at the bottom is is going up to 10 seconds. We'll apply that. We're now up to level four. Have a look. and the jump range has changed to 35.41. So that's how easy it is to get your jump range up. Can we do level four? No, we can't because we need eccentric hyperspace trajectories. And the only way of getting those is from high energy wake scans, which we're not gonna be able to do. Now, I think that's us with everything tuned up. We've done all of that, we've done all of that. We have wide angles. We have FSDs done, we have a power plant done very nicely. And so all in all, a very good um, engineering. Into outfitting, this is also interesting. Usually in um, the engineers, they have some funky uh, sort of weapons or some funky sort of bits and bobs. They, they typically don't ever have a shipyard have some other funky stuff so i'm happy with that hopefully the thrusters will be a bit, everything will be 
better. Everything sort of went better there, which is um, which is great. Let's see what type of yep. Yeah, so they've got no weapons whatsoever. So okay, fine. That's absolutely fine. We're not bothered about that. Uh, they've got no anything like that. So what have they got internally? They have all they have are thrusters and frameshift drives. So let's have a look what they've got. Ooh, they have low-level enhanced performance thrusters. Never seen those. Now we have five level five thrusters, but for a smaller ship, those thrusters would be doing some great work. Look at those. Mass five tons. It's a shame we can't just see normal 3A thrusters. Oh yeah, there we can. Are oh, there five tons as well? But we can't compare them. That's interesting. So anyway, she's got some enhanced thrusters here. And I'm guessing she will have some enhanced frameshift drives. No, she doesn't. She doesn't even have the frameshift drive I've got. Well, anyway, she's got some enhanced thrusters for smaller ships, um, which is pretty cool, to be fair. So anyway, there you go. That's a little... Um, a little look at the engineers. She's a miserable looking old bugger, isn't she? Now let's have a look what pinged up here. She's probably said, you've learned some information about a new engineer, Jury Ishmak. Check your log for more details. Okay, so we'll go and have a look at our engineers. And sure enough, Missiles and mines and scanners. So we need to gain 50 or more combat bonds. And then we'll be able to find out where he is and we'll have to take him something. Um, so that's cool. That's how it works. Usually when you get to over level three of um, some of your, your dudes, then they will tell you uh, the next one of uh, what's going on. And then obviously the progress, as you can see, to get up to level five, to get the five level five FSDs is uh, quite uh, quite a lot. Anyway, there you go. A little bit of engineering, um, and as I said, you can you can see all of your um, all of your changed uh, 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 modules here. And it tells you what you've got wide angle scanner. So I'm going to go out and have a play with this and have a little look at what's going on. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go and find um, Todd the Blaster. Go and get him done just because um, I need to get that done. Okay, he's in Wolf 397, 121 light years. So let's, um, let's just see how far away he is. Let's find him. Wolf 397. That's the easiest way of getting to him. We're not taking anything there. Thank you. Pop. That's that done. And it's going to tell us it is four jumps. That's bloody brilliant, having um, uh, the uh, increase. Um, excellent. So there we go, guys. Um, if you've stayed this long, well done if you haven't well done and thanks for watching goodbye